everybody this is amanda this is my channel amanda random and this you guys is part two of my dollar tree book haul so if you guys seen part one of this you'll know that we did let me just kind of tilt this up and show you just how high this tower of books goes over here so we did all of the hardcover books and now i have a bunch of um some paperback books as well as just some odds and ends of some other things that I found at the Dollar Tree that just amazed me. So with that being said, let's jump into this and grab some books. All right, so this one right here is called Under the Influence. It is by L.B. Simmons. This one, again, you guys know I'm a sucker for a good book cover. They just draw me in. I love this one. It's really, really nice looking. I love the colors. This pretty much, to sum it up, it says Spencer Locke is the only bright spot in Dalton Greer's very bleak existence. There isn't anything he wouldn't do to shield her from the evil he's experienced, from the life he's chosen, and even from himself. So, you guys, as I said in the first one, I don't have time to read you through everything about the book, but at least this way, if you have the title of the book and the author, you can always pause it and kind of read this yourself, or you can always go ahead and if you have a Goodreads account, you can type these in there and you can read about the books from there. You can also type them in on your Amazon or anything like that and look them up and then you can also read the full synopsis of what the book is about. So the next one I found, again, the cover just... It just works for me. So this one is called Scared Little Rabbits by A.V. Geiger. And this one says, We stand in a tight cluster high above the lake. One by one, we made our way up the narrow trail from the edge of campus. Now we wait shoulder to shoulder behind the police tape. 19 summer students, all but one. So this one is dark and suspenseful for sure. And another one that I cannot rate, wait to get my hands on and read. Then we have That Night by Sin Blog. And it says, some secrets are best left buried. So this one again looks intriguing. It says, she'll do anything to remember that night. It's been a year since Haley's boyfriend, Declan, died, and Haley is still far from okay. She's lost almost all her friends, her grades are falling, and she's pretty much lives wrapped up in bed. Everyone says Declan's death was a suicide. After all, his father's gun was found near his body. But Haley knows the happy, confident Declan she knew would never do that. So, that sounds very intriguing. The next one we have, again, this envelope theme here. <laughs> this one is a wise, funny, sad, multi-generational family saga that proves the more specific a story is, the more universal it feels. It's the perfect novel for anyone who has a family, either by blood or by choice. So, on the back of this one, this one does say, I'm pretty sure this one just says what it was priced at in Canada, which was $21. Um, I don't even know if I told you or if you guys even care what the, the retail price of the other ones were. Um, but this one is the surprising seductive novel about the way families are invented is so light on the surface you'll find yourself laughing or humming a 90s pop hit you didn't notice was woven right into its fabric. But watch out for what's lurking under its wildly original surface, a profoundly insightful exploration of the bizarre ways people become bonded. So that one, that one actually sounds really good too. There's so many good books here. I just, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know where I'm going to begin. So this one is called One Day You'll Burn by Joseph Schneider. Check out this cover again. I'm just, I'm living for these graphics on these covers of these books. A body so badly burned that it could be mistaken for a movie prop, except for the smell. That's not something the LAPD finds lying on the street every day. And when Detective Tully Jarsdell is called to the scene, it's clear to him that something about the placement of the corpse is intentional, even ritualistic. Jarsdell's former career in academia finally seems to be 
coming in handy rather than serving merely as material for jokes from his partner, Morales. These books all have such amazing just plots to them and things like that that I can't wait to put these up on my library shelf and just go through them one by one by one and add them to my Goodreads account. I don't know if a lot of you guys use that, but Goodreads is just an app or um, a website that you can go to and keep track of all of your books. I absolutely love it and highly recommend it. And if you want to follow me on Goodreads, my link will also be in the description underneath this video. So this one is The History of Jane Doe by Michael Belanger. A stunning debut that captures the beautiful, astonishing, hilarious, tragic truth of past, present, and future. Raymond Green is a history buff without a story of his own. Simone Blackburn is Ray's best friend, a passionate consumer of light-up sneakers and milk. Their high school status is aggressively ignored. Well, I think we can all relate to that to some degree. <laughs> and again, I love the colors. The the cover of this book is just, I love it. It's stunning. And then we have Strange Grace. Again, how cool is this cover? This is by Tessa Gratton. And it says there's bonus content inside. So I'm wondering what that's all about here. So this one says, long ago, a village made a bargain with the devil to ensure their prosperity. When the slaughter moon rises, the, villo the village must sacrifice a young man into the depths of the devil's forest. Ooh, only this year, the slaughter's moon has risen early. Bound by duty, secrets, and love they share for one another, Merwin, a spirited witch, Rune, the expected saint, and Arthur, a restless outcast, will each have a role to play as the devil demands a body to fulfill the bargain. So how good does this book sound? It says, an alluring and seductive fairy tale. So definitely something worth checking out at your Dollar Tree. And the fact that you guys can get these books for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five is just, it blows my mind. So, this one is Every Bone a Prayer. And at first, I'm going to be honest, I thought when I was, like, reading this, like, I was missing something in the title here. And I even turned it to turn it and kind of look, and it, it's really Every Bone a Prayer. So, that is the name of this book by Ashley Blooms. And this one says... Misty's holler looks like any one of the thousand hollers that fork through the Appalachian Mountains, but Misty knows her home is different. She may be only 10, but she hears things. Even the crawdads in the creek have something to say if you listen. So, that one looks really good. Can't wait to find out more about that book. Then we have Bringing Out the Worst in Someone Has Its Rewards. This one is called The Lady Upstairs by Haley Sutton. Pretty sure I just read something by Haley Sutton. Um, I'm going to have to double check that now. So this one is a deliciously dark thriller about a woman who makes a living taking down terrible men. Then she finds herself in over her head with blood on her hands. The way out, pull off one final con. Love the cover of this one. I love these colors. I like how interesting it just pulls you in. You guys, there's just so many books at the Dollar Tree. It's just insane. So this is by Lauren North, and this is called The Perfect Sun. Again, check out this cover. This one says, when Tess Clark wakes up in the hospital the day after her son Jamie's eighth birthday, she's sure of three things. Her husband died three months ago. She's been stabbed, and her son is missing. She suspects that her brother-in-law and grief therapist are involved, but no one's listening to her. Dun-dun-dun. Okay, you guys. I seriously have no idea what books I want to start. So I think once I get all of these books and some of my other books all put on my library, um, in my library on the my bookshelves, I think I might do something with you guys and just have you pick, like, a row and then a number and we'll count the rows of my bookshelves and then a number over and then maybe that's how I'll just randomly pick some books. think that would be really really a good idea. So this one is called Lucky Strikes by Lewis Baird. Again, this one looks really cute. It says, with her mama recently dead and her pa out of the picture since her birth, 
Big sister Amelia is suddenly in charge of her younger brother and sister and the and the family gas station. Harley Blevins, local king and emperor of Standard Oil, is in hot pursuit to clench his fuel monopoly. To keep his to keep him at bay and her family out of foster care, Malia must come up with a father and fast. And so when a hobo rolls out of a passing truck, Malia grabs opportunity by its beard. You guys, this one sounds so good. And some of these, you know, they have bigger print and they're going to be super fast reads if you're a fairly fast reader. So you could just, you know, you can get, you could put one of these books down fairly fast. This one, again, I love these colors. I love the, just the cover of this book. It is called A Map for Wrecked Girls by Jessica Taylor. And it says, Emma and Henry were supposed to grow old together. They were sisters and best friends. Emma always imagined them as little old ladies living together in a huge house by the sea. But now that might never happen after a boat crash. Emma and Henry are washed up ashore along with Alex, their friend. The island is beautiful, but there is no fresh water, food, or shelter. And all they have are each other and their secrets. <sighs> you guys, sometimes I don't have time while I'm in the Dollar Tree to read through all of these. So I must admit, some of them I just grab and throw in the cart if they look really good or if the cover looks good. <laughs> um, so when I get to reread some of these, I'm just like, ooh, 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 this one. I got to read this one. And so far, it's like pretty much every single one is on the top of my to-be-read list here. So <laughs> this one is called Talk To Me by John Kenny. It's a story that Ted Grayson has reported time and time again as a network TV anchor, the public downfall of those at the top. He just never imagined that it would happen to him. So that one looks good. See, now this one doesn't call to me as much as the others, but it still definitely sounds like I'd enjoy reading it. This one is called Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. And let's see here. Ever since last year's homecoming dance, best friends turned best enemies. Zori and Lennon have made an art of avoiding each other. It doesn't hurt that their families are the modern day Californian versions of the Montagues and the Capulets. But when a group camping trip goes south, Zori and Lennon find themselves stranded in the wilderness alone together. What could go wrong? This is totally, this is a book that I'm totally interested in wanting to read. So, mm -hmm, there's another one. And then we have What Remains of Her by Eric Rickstad. This one seems kind of haunting and chilling. It says, Jonah Baum, a professor of poetry at a remote Vermont college, sees his ordinary life torn apart when his wife, Rebecca, and young daughter, Sally, vanish from their home. No evidence of a kidnapping, no sign of murder, no proof Rebecca abandoned her marriage, just Sally's chilling drawings, Jonah's little lies, and a sheriff nagging fears that nothing is what it seems. Okay, total suspense. I'm into it. I can't wait to read these books. I'm going to move these over. So you guys, these were pretty much all the ones I had to share with you that were paperback books. And then over here, I have a, just a couple that I want to share with you guys. I'm going to pull them forward because they're just kind of like different things. They're books, but obviously they're just a little different. So I did find this little book. How cute is this? Let me see if I can zoom in. That way you guys can kind of see here what we're working with. So this book is very different. It's called Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. And on the back here it says, My disease is a rare as it is famous. Basically, I'm allergic to the world. I don't leave my house, have not left my house in 17 years, but then one day a moving truck arrives next door. I look out the window and I see him, Ollie. Maybe we can't predict the future, but we can predict some things. For example, I, Maddie, am certainly going to fall in love with, and I can't see what's underneath here, but you guys, look at how you open this book and how you read it. You read it like this. How cool is this book? So this looks really cute. The whole idea of this book just completely draws me in and I am super addicted to it. I just cannot wait to read it. I think it's so cute. So I'm going to put that up there. And then 
I also found this book, and you guys, what I don't have to share with you here is the fact that the Dollar Tree has plenty of young adult books. It has books for young, young, young children all the way up, and I'm talking baby, toddler, and teen, adult, anything in any age range, the Dollar Tree has it if you just go and look. So this one right here is called It Came, directed by Dan Boltwood. And this book looks amazing. I've never seen anything like this before from Sci-Fi Pulse. And I just had to pick it up because it was really different. And you guys, check this out. Ah! See if I can get it open here. There's so many cool things in this book. And it's basically a graphic novel is what I'm getting out of it. Um, and I cannot wait to read this. It looks so cute. So they always have really cool things like this as well. And it's really funny because I had just recently read a book that I just finished. Um, I believe it was last month or the month prior to the month we're in now. So I believe it was probably in April that I read it. And it was called The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. You guys, the book was amazing. And then, lo and behold, here at my wonderful Dollar Tree, I end up seeing Write Yourself a Lantern, a journal inspired by the Poet X. So I got so excited. The pages of this journal are amazing. It's kind of a guided journal, but yet it's not. And the look at the pictures in here. And these are all quotes and things like that from her book, The Poet X, which, again, I highly, highly recommend you guys to read if you're out there um, watching this and interested. In. And I just, I love it. So, like, right here, I'll give you kind of an example. It says, write the last paragraphs of your biography. Um, this one just is a quote, make poems from the sharp feelings inside. And there's just so many, oh, the, the pictures and the images in here, the more I bruise the page, the quicker something inside me heals. Yes, yes, yes. So if these are like kind of inspirational to you, these quotes, definitely check out this book. That girl's a storyteller writing a world you're invited to walk into. So if you can find these journals, you guys, these are gorgeous. I'm going to rip the back of this one off. It does say that normally these are $14.99 in the U.S. and mm, I love it. I think these are so stunning. I love everything about these and I'm so glad I found them. So I did get two of those and then I found these right here and I did pick up three of them. So this is Miss Peregrine's Journal for Peculiar Children. So if you guys like the movie, this is the journal. And this is not a guided journal. It's literally just a aligned journal. There's just little pages with quotes in the, on them. And this one says, if all the suns but ours collapse tonight, how many lifetimes would it take us to realize that we are alone? There, I just as a journaler, you guys, as someone that constantly is writing in books and things like that, these journals are amazing, and I got them for a dollar twenty-five a piece. So they have journals, they have everything you can think of. You just gotta go and check it out. From like I said, graphic novels to all kinds of different things. So this one right here is called The End of the World by Don Hartsfeld. And you guys, oh, I wish you could feel this. It's almost, it's kind of like a cloth. And it is amazing. Like, I can't, I cannot wait to read this one. I got two of them, actually. I have one that's still over there wrapped. And check it out. This is just kind of the, how the book is. It's drawn with like little stick figures and everything, and I cannot wait to get into this and read it. It does say on the back that it's full of pages from cover to cover. It's literally one page after another. They just keep coming at you. This is practically a book. To me, it is a book. <laughs> the world, the end of the world, and you guys, definitely look for these. So this is what it did come like. It was wrapped all up in this plastic wrap and 
protect it all nice so this is what the back looks like it says it's from the imagination of legendary animator and two-time oscar nominee don hertzfeld comes a hilarious fever dream vision of the apocalypse now available in wide release for the first time since the rare original edition sold out again thank you dollar tree so you guys there's just so much stuff if you are a book nerd if your kids love books if you're always looking for a cheap option to go and find something new to read there's always free little libraries you can go and find in your area and there's always dollar tree books and they all just sound amazing so with that being said thank you guys for hanging out with me and listening to me talk about all these new books that i can't wait to read if you guys found some really good books let me know in the comments below if you found any dollar tree books that um you just found and loved and or if you put any of these books now on your dollar tree wish list i love reading your comments and I love hanging out with you guys. So with that being said, if you haven't joined this random family already, consider subscribing and hanging out with us a little more here. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me so that I know you want to see some more wonderful Dollar Tree book hauls. And for now, I love you guys. I'll see you all again soon. Stay random, guys. Bye.